Welcome to this week's Dose of Amuna for Shabbat Kodesh. Today we're going to discuss the topic of Shabbat being a day of no more hiding. Shabbat, we really do get a, have a taste of, even just so slightly, of what it is to be in the world to come. Hashem veiled Himself behind nature. And during the first six days of creation, during our regular six days of the work week, it really does appear to us as though the world is self-running. We can see that free will really is in that space of the six days, where it appears as though there is, God forbid, no creator and nobody running the show. So we have the opportunity during the six days to really use our free will to peel away all those layers of nature and to really search for the truth, to see Hashem's presence, to see God's inter intervention, interaction, not just interaction, but personal, minute, down to the minute detail interaction. And so that's why the seventh day, Shabbat, essentially is the day where Hashem, so to speak, stopped hiding. On Shabbat, it becomes extremely obvious to us and a very accessible also to us that Hashem is present in our lives. Because when you look at life, you look at present day life today, you have to admit, there's a lot of bad things. There's a lot of misery and people are dealing with disease and lack of marital peace desire to want to do and be something else than what they are doing and being a lot of death unfortunately and so when you look at the whole world it's actually written in Masechet um, Iruvin the Gemara says that there's a question in the Gemara where it says that it would actually been have been better for man to not even have been born than to have been born because of all the difficulties that we experience in life. So, you know, when you look at life as itself and you look at all the hiddenness and all the difficulties throughout the whole week, it's really hard when you're involved in that emotional turmoil of seeing what goes on around you um, and within. It's very hard to be thankful. It's very hard to be appreciative. It's very hard to be happy. But on Shabbat, we get to stop. We pull ourselves out of the picture. We pull ourselves out of the difficulties. And we're supposed to view life as though we're crossing through to a better, happier future life where no evil will be, where evil will dissipate and disappear. And all of the wickedness that we experience, people's flawed characters and actions that people take, thievery and all the distortions and negativity that we experience, all that, if we see us as crossing through a crossing path to get to a place, a world of peace, of comfort, of happiness, when you look, when you look at it like that way, and that you can only look at when you're on the day of Shabbat, more so it becomes that much more apparent, then you can bask in happiness and be con consoled and comforted to know that what Hashem is doing is good, is good for us, and will eventually show itself as we get to the other side, so to speak. So we'll be able to see things in a more of a positive light, and that in itself enables us to surrender to Hashem and to um, bring us to a point where we're able to see things from that perspective once a week. Once a week we get to see that. We get the, the energy of Shabbat enables us to see clearly that Hashem is taking us. Shabbat is that me'ena olam haba. It's the taste. It's the foretaste of what's going to be. And so it's so full of joy and I don't, I'm not involved with the evil doings, so to speak, or negative experiences of the world. So, wow, okay, so this is the crossover. This is where we're going. It really is a day where you're able to see things clearly. Let's remember that and enjoy Shabbat in its most revealed, purest, 
beautiful, happy, and good and pure-filled way. Have a great Shabbat.